Hi, and welcome to this Pro Tools Expert review using two Presonus Quantums for post production on Windows. Installation on Windows is an absolute breeze and is just a case of downloading and running the Quantum installer, rebooting, checking that your system has seen and allowed your interfaces to connect, then firing up Universal Control to set up your sample rate, clock source, buffer size, and the aggregation order if, like me, you're using two Quantums. It's best to read the extremely comprehensive manual to ensure your interfaces are connected correctly. I fired up my post-production stress test session, which is a 7.1.2 mix all in the box on Pro Tools HD Native, and I've set it up to play back at a 32 sample buffer. Opening I.O. setup shows all 64 outputs available from the two quantums, and Pro Tools allows you to route to all of these without crashing. This is a reasonably busy 7.1.2 feature film mix with lots of live noise reduction, up mixers, and 7.1.2 reverbs, so the host system needs to be able to output a large amount of audio as easily as possible to the interfaces. This session runs easily with a 32 sample buffer, and there's no processing spikes and there seems to be no undue stress on the system. However, although Pro Tools is saying that it's outputting to all 64 outputs, fire up Universal Control and it's a different story. Audio is only getting to the first 32 outputs in accordance with Avid software limitations. Fire up Studio One 3 Pro and it will recognize both quantums and allow you to set them as low as a 16 sample buffer. You're able to root and most importantly play audio out to all 64 outputs over Thunderbolt ASIO with no DSP involved. These units are excellent value for money, have great support, and would be perfect for a small immersive audio prep room or mix room. Thanks for watching.